Choosing your Key Stage 4 options and understanding our core curriculum we offer is an important time for students at Joseph Leckie. Um, it's an important time for you to develop your potential options, opening up different career pathways. So it is very important that all students and parents and guardians are fully informed of what we have to offer here at Joseph Leckie Academy. Our curriculum is designed to ensure that all students can succeed, whether their abilities, whatever their abilities and strengths. I'm going to go through our core rationale for our students and how students will make their option choices. Option choices here at Joseph Leckie are offered to students and will be based on their Key Stage 2 attainment predictions along with the progress that they've made during Key Stage 3. You can be assured that Joseph Leckie Academy will place your child, yourself, on the most appropriate pathway for you to succeed. So I'm going to work through which qualifications you should choose and what your options are. So at Joseph Leckie Academy, uh, we aim to get all students which are made up of very specific subjects. All students will choose, uh, will, will study a core curriculum of English, Maths, Science, P and PDP. All students will study an EBAC subject, and I'll explain more about these shortly, and can choose from either Geography or History. And the majority of students will also have to do a modern foreign language, either French or German. So at Joseph Leckie Academy, we have 15 hours given to our core subjects. So English is five hours, and that includes a qualification in English language and English literature. Maths have four hours. Science, do a subject called Combined Science, or you'll have an option to do separate sciences. But the Combined Science course is four hours, so all students do a four hours Combined Science subject. Uh, PE is one hour, and uh, you all know the benefits of doing PE, uh, keeping you fit and healthy and, enjoy and an hour of enjoyment. And students do one hour of PDP. In that PDP lesson, students follow a personal development program. The program is designed to support students covering topics such as work-related learning, careers, relationships, sex education, um, health education, enterprise, personal finance and citizenship. Uh, some students will also study a, a course called ASDAN, which is personal effectiveness skills uh, to help them with their recommended pathway. So what is an EBAC subject? Well, this is the English Baccalaureate, and it's important because it increases students' chances of achieving A-levels and Level 3 qualifications, apprenticeships and university entrances. They cover valuable skills and opportunities, uh, which provides opportunities for career pathway and life experiences. They are also expected by the government, and we also believe these are essential for your future. And they include, as I said earlier, either history or geography. You will all study a science, which is core science or separate science, computer science option, and then French and or German. So, as I said earlier, all students will study geography or history. Okay, that's two hours for one of, it, one of those. You can opt for both of them, but you have to do at least one. Most of the students will have to do a study of modern foreign language and we have the options between German or French. This will be indicated on your options form as to whether you have to study one of these as a compulsory subject. A few students will have an ASDAN course which is predetermined on your options form. But then every student will have at least three or sometimes four option subjects which will be indicated on your options form and depends on a specific pathway that you might like to do, but also depends on your predictions from Key Stage 3 and how you've done during Key Stage 3. And each subject has two hours of learning time in the curriculum. All subjects we offer are the equivalent of a GCSE, so if it says a vocational subject, then it will be level two, which will give you the same uh, grades potentially as you could have achieved in a GCSE. Why is it the process so important? So choosing your options for GCSE is an important time. So the st subjects that you study at Key Stage 4 will obviously help you with your career choices and help you to achieve your goals in life. Success at Key Stage 4 
means that you'll be able to progress to a level three course, whether that's A-level, vocational um, courses or apprenticeships or the new T-levels and ultimately to successful employment. Success across all subjects, including your English, maths and core science, leads to better employment opportunities, lifelong skills and knowledge. Choosing wisely for your free option choices increases the possibilities that you will be successful for your future careers. So each of you will have an option form and they are individualised, personalised forms based on your estimated grades and your current progress. And they may well be different to your friends. So please make sure you complete the one with your name on it, okay, because you, have, you may well have different options from your friends and you can only choose the options that are provided for you. There are different forms subject to your abilities and if you need help your tutor will explain or you can come and see me. Please note though that whilst we do endeavour to give you your first choice it cannot be guaranteed and an alternative would be discussed with you if necessary. So this is an example of an options form, they will be different so not all of you will receive this example but you can see there in this particular case the core subjects at the top you choose French or German, history or geography, and then in this case, three option choices from a whole range of subjects. I'm not gonna name them all because I don't want to miss out a subject, but you'll see them clearly on the options form. And also during the parents evening, you will have a chance to go around and speak to some of the op option subject teachers to find out more about those courses. In addition, every student will receive a booklet with all the option choices in there, with lots of information, and I'll tell you about where the other information is at the end of the presentation. This is another example of another option choice form where students choose history or geography, but here they have an option to choose French and it's not compulsory for these students. But as I said at the start, we do expect the vast majority of our students to do a modern foreign language, French or German, because we believe it's really important for your future and the career pathways that it opens up to lots of students to study, to go abroad uh, and to work in business in, in the UK, which heavily relies on languages. We also ask you on the form, um, if you are, uh, have a community language as your home language, um, and you would like to be considered for entering that as a GCSE, an additional GCSE, and you are fluent in reading, speaking and writing those languages, then please indicate that on your options form. And then Ms. Tutris, the head of MFL, will contact you during year nine and look up what, what those uh, options are for you to do some additional lessons and to be entered for those GCSEs. It gives you an additional language that many of you will be very good at. Often I get the question asked, is JNL banned, does that exist at Key Stage 4? And the answer is yes for your core subjects, okay, but not necessarily in the same class that you're in now. Uh, subject heads will maybe reset if you've done very well in your Year 8 exams or but towards the end of Year 8, and they will reset, but generally most of you will stay in the same band in your core subjects. However, your option subjects are not based on JNL bands, so you have options uh, and you'll tick those on your forms across both bands so it doesn't matter which, which band you're in the options are open to that are on your form. As I said earlier some students will have the option to choose French or German but you will all have the option to choose French if you wish to continue with that in Key Stage 4. If you do wish to study a subject that is not on your option form because the pathway is um, a, a pathway that we hadn't thought was possible for you then please come and see me and we will have that discussion either with yourself and with your parent or guardian. Obviously, it's really important to, to look at how do you choose those option subjects, how do you choose between geography and history, how do you choose between German and French, and how do you choose between those all those other subjects, okay? Why should I choose that subject? How do I make that decision? What are my options? So, you're bombarded by a whole list of subjects on the option form and you'll be going, what, what, which one am I going to do? Why, why do I do that subject? Why not that subject? So making choices, there are some clear guidance procedures that you can follow. So at parents' evening, you should have been able to choose to, to talk to your subject teachers 
Uh, you can talk to your teachers throughout the next couple of weeks before the deadline to ask about the subject, particularly if it's a new subject that, ha that you haven't experienced at Key Stage 3. A key person in this is your form tutor. Okay, so please ask your form tutor for help because they've known you for almost two years and they know your strengths and your areas that you're interested in. Listen to the presentations. The, the last two weeks you will have had presentations uh, on the subject and hopefully you've listened to that. And there are also presentations on SharePoint. Um, so each subject has a little presentation on SharePoint. So you can go back and look at those presentations and think again about that subject. As you know, you've all had sessions with Ms. Mrs. Ebanks Powell and you've been shown how to use Unifrog and it's really important that you utilise that wonderful resource to help you look at your future careers and what courses, are, uh, what, what qualifications you might need to, to study courses both at A-level and university or to go into different apprenticeships. Read the information in the subject booklet that you'll, that you'll be given with your options form. Obviously, speak to your parents and guardians. It's really important that your parents and guardians are involved in this process. We're hoping that you will have attended the Parents' Evening on the 9th of March. If you're watching this video on the website, then you perhaps have missed that Parents' Evening. And if you are a parent or guardian that wants to know a bit more, then please contact us on the email address and we will get back to you with more information. Talk to students who are doing the subject. So there are students in Year 9, 10 and 11 that are doing that subject, or you might know sixth formers that have done that subject at GCSE. So please talk to the students to find out more about what that subject involved. And also use your subject reports. They tell you how good you are in that subject alongside what the teacher has told you. So, why choose a subject? Okay. Well, first of all, you should choose subjects that you are good at. You should choose subjects that you've enjoyed at Key Stage 3. However, as I've said earlier, there are some subjects at Key Stage 4 that you won't have had chance to trial at Key Stage 3. So you do have to look in more detail at what those subjects involved. So if it's a new subject, read the information in the booklet, look online at the website uh, and SharePoint, and talk to staff if that subject interests you. And many of our subjects that are in our Key Stage 4 options that aren't at Key Stage 3 are very popular at GCSE. So please read and look and talk to those people. Also, you need to look if it suits your learning style. Okay, GCSEs are sometimes more academic, although there may be practical elements to some of those courses. Okay, whereas vocational courses, there are still exams, but there's more coursework elements. Also, do you enjoy the content? It might be a new subject, but read the content in the course. Is that something you're going to enjoy? Okay, does it support your career choice? So look at what you would like to do and then work backwards and say, is this subject going to be the skills and qualification that would be suitable to studying that course at A-level or beyond at university or in an apprenticeship? We offer a broad curriculum, so regardless of the choices that you make in your three or four option choices, the core curriculum will provide the foundation for any career. So even if you do start a GCC or a vocational course, and maybe by the end of year 11 it's not for you, it doesn't limit what you're going to do, because you will have a breadth of GCC and vocational qualifications in order to go on to level 3 and post 16 qualifications. The reasons not to choose a subject. One reason not to choose a subject is because you like a teacher, because they may not be the teacher that you will have next year. Okay, just because you've had them at Key Stage 3 does not mean to say they will teach you at Key Stage 4. Don't choose a subject because your friends are choosing it. Okay, they may be in a different set or a different block and they don't have the same career choices that you want to make. Okay, they're not going to go on and study at the same universities or go on to the same careers when you've finished at Joseph Leckie. So choose the options that suit you, not what your friends are doing. Don't choose a subject because you think it's easy. All subjects at GCSE and Level 2 are challenging, okay? but they are all achievable if you work hard. 
Don't choose a subject because you think it's all practical, okay? Every single subject has a theory element to it. Every single subject will have an examination. Some of them may have some more practical and that may suit you, but they all are hard work. There are no easy level two or GCSE subjects. Opportunities that we offer you to reach your potential, okay? We believe Joseph Leckie has a very well designed curriculum that allows you to change career pathways in the future. Just because you study a subject at GCSE does not mean you're necessarily going to take that at A level. And just because you don't study a subject at GCSE does not mean you won't be able to do it at A level. Starting in year nine allows us more time to teach your GCSE level two qualifications to embed your knowledge and develop your skills. We offer a large range of enrichment opportunities within and beyond the curriculum offered by your teachers and support staff. Period six and interventions are offered throughout the course, but particularly in year 11. So we top up your learning by offering period six uh, and also other interventions from support staff. We have excellent support from staff across all levels. Most of you will experience that already. If you're still unsure, then ask for help. There's a large number of people that will help you, your head of year, your tutors, your teachers, and come to me, any other member of the leadership team, we will all help you to make those right choices. This is for some students and, and parents and guardians who are used to their older brothers and sisters having what used to be grades A to you, grades at GCC. It's now on what's called the new levels, which are nine down to a U. Okay, the old C is a level four. Okay, the old B stroke C is a level five. The old B is a six, an A, a seven, and so on. So this is in the presentation because some people will be familiar with the grades, whereas the new GCSEs have been in existence for a few years now, are on numbers. So what do you have to do? Okay, you need to think carefully, follow the guidance and advice. Don't all rush to get your form in the first day, tomorrow or, or the next day, you have got until Friday the 17th of March. You need to take your form to Miss Pace, who is based in the art building. Some options do have limited numbers, so it is important that you think and make those decisions early. And if you miss the deadline, you will have even more limited options. Some subject combinations, however, are not advisable because they cover the similar content. They might have slightly different names, but they cover similar content and they discount against each other in terms of skills uh, and therefore they're not thought of to work well together in terms of giving you different experiences. So there are an art, there's an art and design course and an art, there's two art and design courses. One is art taught in the art building with art teachers doing more art based work. And the other one is called art and design and it's more technology based work. So please read the information carefully, make sure you're up for the right one, but one or the other. We also have two technology courses. One is design technology and one is design technology with, with textiles. So it's one or the other. And we also offer business GCSE and business enterprise. Again, it's one or the other. You will be advised if options are full or you've chosen the wrong combinations. Miss Pace or I will contact you and we'll have a discussion and we'll re give you what the options are left and you'll, you'll re-choose your options. Please take care in making the right choices. Once options are chosen, it is difficult to change. When you start in September, often students come to me and say, can I change my options? And I say, I'm very sorry, you can't do that because that one is full. Or I'm sorry you can't do that one because we haven't run that one because there wasn't enough numbers. So it is important you think carefully and make the right choices when you have those forms. If you've made a mistake, it's important that you come and see me okay, as soon as possible so that we can look at what the options are for changing. However, as I've just said, it may not be possible to change. If you thought about it wisely first, the chances are you won't need to change. There is a process to follow that if you do want to make a change, because we need to ask you to think very carefully about that change, to consult with your parents and guardians, and then a consultation with your tutor and head of year, then a consultation with me so that we know that if you are making a change, 
It's a well thought out change, but those are rare and they are more difficult when you start year nine. I hope you found the information useful. As I've said, a video is only as good as a video. The PowerPoint is on the information for you to look at. The booklet is on the website so that you can look at all that information and don't have to come to me and say, Miss Cook, I've lost my booklet. It's all on the website so that you can look again at the information, speak to your teachers, speak to tutors, come and ask me, talk to people and try and make the right choices. Thank you for listening. <laughs>